Globe Music presents Be the Band. Head 
out across the globe You don't know what you'll find 91.1, let's go Dandelion Man, be the band on 91.1 The Globe. My name is Tyson. Thanks so much for joining us on this Saturday afternoon for our latest edition of Globe, Globe Music Presents. We have Be the Band in the studio. That's Evan Crable, Isaac Fisher, Birch Bear, and Evan Judson. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. This is awesome. Thank you for Thank having you. us. It's so awesome to be here. Be the Band, of course, here uh, ahead of their show tonight. They're playing at Godan Studios doors at 6.30. Show at 7. They're joined by Potential Novelty and the Loose Associates. And we're also here to promote your second studio album, Long Live the Shrewdness, streaming wherever you get music. Streaming now, it came out just a couple hours ago. Uh, very exciting stuff. So let's talk about this new album. Um, and Evan, you wrote a lot of this album on a road trip. What was it about being on this road trip that like, inspired you to start writing some of these songs? Uh, so my co-writer and one of my great friends, Ian, was moving from Goshen to Portland, and we kind of wanted something to do but also kind of something to show for this this road trip and we were you know watching landscapes change and feeling this massive life transition ahead of him and ahead of me and we kind of wanted to write uh wanted to write about that change about transitions and flow of things not just in landscapes but just in life in general this album like you said was written with ian what, what was he like as a writing partner and how did that help you bring in uh, new things to the, the Be The Band sound? Well, it was really fun because we were writing while we were driving. So uh, whoever was driving was purely putting forward ideas and not doing any of the music making besides singing. The person in, the, in Shotgun in his Toyota Prius was <laughs> playing the acoustic guitar, just bouncing ideas back and forth kind of letting the songwriting come and go as we needed to navigate more or navigate less. Ian is an amazing writer and he's an amazing friend. So just talking about things as we were driving also kind of brought forth new ideas to put into these songs too. Well, knowing some of that backstory, um, as we look ahead to this next song that you guys are about to play for us, I think um, we can sort of figure out some of the things that were going on when you were writing this song. Um, this next song off your new album, uh, Long Live the Shrewdness, is called South Dakota. Is it fair to assume that you were in or around South Dakota when this song was written? We were, we were en route to South Dakota, planning on spending the night in the Badlands. Yes. There you go. All right. So uh, South Dakota, the uh, second song. we got four songs from you guys today, so we're really excited about that. South Dakota. Be the band live in the studio.
back through the night sky like a bolt of lightning and in the quiet my baby is sighing and in the morning I hear her flying oh she left with the dawn she saw my South Dakota, Be The Band, live in the Globe Studios. They got a show tonight at Go Dance Studio Doors at 6.30. Show at 7. They're joined by Potential Novelty and the Loose Associates. Their second studio album, Long Live the Shrewdness, is out now wherever you get your guys' music. So we talked a little bit about the writing process with Ian, and I want to talk about when you guys got back in the studio now to record and write some of the other parts in the song. For those of you who weren't on this road trip, what was that process like of coming into songs that had already sort of been written? I mean, I didn't know these songs until the day before we recorded them (laughs) and uh when evan showed them to me i i just kind of played along with what he was playing with on guitar and tried to outline some of the chords he was doing and yeah yeah it was it was super fun um our good buddy jason brewer who Mm. produced the album uh he's got a little studio um at his place so we we buckled in for about two days pretty much lived there um ate three meals a day all practiced together and it was it was really fun we had um one session before practice these songs um kind of to create a shell of them and then during that time it was fun because it like not only was it recording it was like we were all we were all adding our own flair to these awesome songs that ian and evan had written before yeah and like i took a very improvisational approach to it kind of just adding little flourishes whatever outlining chords um you know a little trumpet action uh, very occasionally but love a good little trumpet action i mean who doesn't who doesn't (laughs) who doesn't uh let's talk about your show tonight uh the eras show um i think maybe some people's reaction to that would be what has b been around long enough to have eras so can you guys outline the different eras that you guys are going to be talking about at the show yeah uh who wants to do the first one? Should we just right, I'll go one? first. Yeah. Um, okay. So about a year ago, we did a tiny desk concert submission in a, we recorded like more stripped down acoustic versions of some of our songs uh, within a greenhouse, which is like super fun, super crunchy. We were eating lettuce off the floor. <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah, so that, so that we will be joined by the Loose Associates, the loose associates who are a folk duo. Mm. Um, out of South Bend. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, after the greenhouse, we have um, the Ramen Swamp and Beyond era. Uh, about last year, we got an opportunity to play Go Dance, mm-hmm. um, and it was great. Um, had a super fun time, and shortly after that, we began feeling kind of momentum from that concert. So we were like, all right, we're going to we're gonna record a full length. And so that turned into kind of the, you know, we had some shells of some songs we were working on, and that kind of accumulated into um, the album of Ramen Swamp, which we got to record in March of last year. So that era will be all the songs of that album, plus some that we also wrote around that time, Dandelion Man, as well as some others that will remain a surprise for the set that were written about the same time but didn't make it on the album. Um, that's going to be a fun one. I'm really excited about that one. 
Uh, and around two years ago, when this band was started, uh, we played our first show at Goshen Brewing Company. And uh, when we played there, we only had about six songs. And so our first era we call Welcome to the Hive. Yeah. And uh, those are the first six songs that we writ wrote and uh, a couple others around that time. And then the last era is the, the shrewdness. The, the shrewdness. shrewdness. Era. Long live and it. Long live, long live the shrewdness. Ian's not going to be there, but our good friend Nathan Pauls mm. will be subbing in for Ian's vocals. There you go. Those are the different eras you can expect tonight. They're playing Go Dance. Doors at 6.30. The show is at 7. Who's Associates, like you said, potential novelty opening the show. All right, let's get into some more music. You guys got Mama coming up. This is also um, off your new album, Long Live the Shrewdness. What can you guys set us up for with this song? It's... It's not location based, so I'm struggling a little more with where on the road trip you were when this was written. It's uh, more relationship based. Ian really took the leads on record on the writing of this one. Again, coming from that huge life transition away from college into a world even further away from where he grew up in Lancaster, uh, kind of coming to terms with the changing of the relationships that he would have in his life as a result of the people who would be close to him or in the in terms of his his mom his parents his immediate family further away so kind of dealing with that there you go mama be the band live at the globe I've been thinking too much about the way you acted to me that I never think enough. And lately, you've been in my space as if the way you tried to raise me all at once could be erased. So, oh, mama, put that hatchet down. yourself from crying but a bird who swings a clipped will never know the love of flying so mama put that hatchet down make you feel so mama put that hatchet down oh mama just leave it in the ground who I am who I am now cause of you you who Mama, be the band live at the Globe. 
Thanks so much for joining us, guys. It's been an absolute blast. They're playing tonight at Godan Studio. Doors at 6.30. The show starts at 7. And their second studio album is out now. Long live the shrewdness streaming wherever you get your music. Two years in, I want to go back uh, to a little more than two years ago, back to the house show that started it all. What do you guys remember from, from that first show? Uh, I I remember not being able to hear Evan at all. He was using like a practice amp, like the size of a shoebox. I could not hear him at all. I had practiced with Evan for like 30 minutes. I practiced for with Birch for like 15. Yeah, it wasn't even 15. It was like we had said we were going to practice for 15. And then I had to load in with my other band that was playing next. So we practiced for like five minutes. And then after that, we were just like, yeah, like just like give me a nod when we like go into the choruses and stuff. So it was it was awesome. We we still play some of the songs that uh that were from that house show. What are some of those some titles? Simulation breaks is the one that one that we still play. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. We playing that tonight. That's right. <laughs> nice. Simulation breaks. That'll be there tonight. What do you guys do? What's your pre show pre show routines? What 15 minutes before the show starts, what are you guys what are you guys up to? Usually a lot of goofing around. <laughs> We're all super tight pals, so we usually honestly it's 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 either setup, like we we do a lot of our, you know, a lot of setup. Um and then it's just like hanging out, enjoying each other's company. There's and a uh, pre-show ritual that I do every time I play and uh it's where I have a an energy drink and a bag of candy every time. What do, what, do you, what does that do for you? Uh, it makes me feel really terrible <laughs> okay. until we play. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how Isaac plays on the on the candy, dude. It's off the chain. Well, I uh, I'm excited to see that tonight. Then uh, at the show, all right, you guys got one more song for us, uh, and then we'll get out of here. Robot Overlord love song. This one is not on the new album, but is a single. It is on the new album. Yeah. Never mind. It's on the new album. Uh, yeah. What can you? I mean. Set up, set us up for this song before yeah, we yeah. go into it. What do we need to know? <laughs> so as we were doing this road trip, Ian and I were thinking, we need an epic ballad. We need like an epic poem, something like, uh, I don't know, Rocky Raccoon by Raccoon by the Beatles or something that like yeah. really tells a story. And we didn't have one and we gave up on it. And we were starting to work on that line. It's one of those songs where the first line of the song is the first line that pops into your head. So we're like, if one day robots overtook the world. And installed a secret camera in the eyes of every squirrel. We were like, that's not happening. That's <laughs> horrible. <laughs> that's <laughs> awful. And we were like, well, let's just give it a go. Let's keep, you know, adding lines. And then we were like three verses in. And we were like looking at each other like neither of us wanted to say it because neither of us wanted to ruin the potential that the other wouldn't <laughs> agree. But we were like, oh, my God, this is it. This is the epic poem. This is the epic ballad. But it's so dumb. I mean, like, it's such a dumb song. But I think it's, you know, using that humor as a device to, to try to say something about who we are as humans. It's know? awesome. It's awesome. It is awesome. And yeah. it is. And as was just pointed out, it's the uh, the robot that's featured on the album artwork is the, the robot overlord. So, great. All right. Robot overlord love song. Be the band live at the Globe. If one day robots overtook the world And installed a secret camera In the eyes of every squirrel I'd stop and think about what I've become Who I've been and who I'm gonna be In all the years to come They've commandeered all the artillery And what they plan to do with all of it Remains a mystery Time has come, our robot lord's decree. In all the years that we've been watching you, we've learned from what we've seen. That, oh, you suck. You really suck. Can't believe that you suck. Oh, you suck. You really suck. Dear Jesus Christ and robot Smartphone look 
looked at me, I knew I felt the same. Went home to stew in my embarrassment. In all the years that we've been living, we just couldn't take a hint. My refrigerator met me at the door, and it dispensed me out a drink and sat me down right on the floor. It said to stop and think about the good. Life is full to brim with the nuance and your complex personhood. But still you suck. It's true you suck. Dear Jesus Christ in robot heaven, oh you suck. Whoa you suck. It's true you suck. Please consider this a favor for you chumps. shot all of the missiles into space and they made a learning center out of every army base the bullets and returned them to the land turned each gun into an instrument and formed a bluegrass band after some time had passed i realized that my fridge was right its words had really opened up my eyes all things are better with the robots in control And I feel a little lighter with the weight off of my soul Because we sucked, they're right, we sucked We had our heads 20 feet underneath the muck Whoa, we sucked, it's true, we sucked And now it's all much better, I can't believe Two butt heads against the rules And some people started arguing And calling robots fools Why do the robots single-handedly decide What we do and what we eat And how we live our daily lives The robot army ended soon as it begun Because the robots wanted peace They had melted every gun The human army blew those bots to smithereens And we danced over their bodies Wearing awful skinny jeans Saying you suck, humans suck, humans rule, robots drool, that's why you suck, oh you suck, they're right, we suck. Placing value on our differences is a contagious mental state. We outlawed bluegrass and shot every single squirrel, repeated every past mistake in every country in the world. And it hurts me now to see what I've become. A sore reminder every day, not every battle should be won. Because we suck, they're right, we suck. You tried to lead us, couldn't beat us, cause we suck. Whoa, we suck, they're right, we suck. Stuck out your hands, we missed our chance because we suck. Robot Overlord, Love Song, Be the Band, live at the Globe. Guys, thank you so much for coming <laughs> in today. That was uh, a lot of fun. Uh, the show tonight, they're playing Go Dance Studio. Doors at 6.30. The show starts at 7. They're joined by Potential Novelty and The Loose Associates. Their second studio album is out now. Long live the shrewdness. Streaming wherever you get your music. Guys, thanks so much for coming in. Of course. Thanks for thanks having, having us. us. All right, we're going to get back to the culturally progressive music. You're listening to 91.1 The Globe. <laughs> 